Hello everybody, Bricks for Dom here and today I'm going to fix two LEGO Minecraft sets for Creeper Ambush and also Veneva Bastion which are two completely different sets but I think it should be pretty fun to fix both of them, especially Veneva Bastion. So without taking up any more of your time, let's start fixing the sets. Alright, so I'm going to start from the Creeper Ambush which is of course the smallest set out of the two. So the Creeper Ambush set is one of the smaller $10 sets that are always a great value since a lot of the time they come with a lot of mobs and items. So in this set you get a Steve who has a stone sword and a spyglass. And then you also get a baby pig, a baby chicken and also a red creeper. So this is supposedly, be, supposedly supposed to be a creeper mid explosion which looks interesting but it isn't that accurate to the game. Because whenever a creeper explodes in Minecraft, they turn white and not bright red. But I think it is an interesting idea nonetheless. And for the terrain, you get a little bit of plains with a crafting table and a flower. Also some sand and some water and sugar cane. And because there is an exploding creeper, there is also an exploding play feature. Alright, so the way that I'll be fixing these LEGO Minecraft sets is I'll make every regular Minecraft block an actual LEGO cube. So to make a cube in LEGO it has to be 5 plates tall and it also has to be 2x2 two two at the width of the base of the actual cube. Because of course Minecraft is a cube game and the proportions in LEGO Minecraft sets aren't that accurate to actual Minecraft. So I'll be fixing that. I will also be tiling both of the sets out so that they would have a smooth look just like the actual game Minecraft. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to be making is going to be the first layer of a terrain, which of course, for example, this water will be about 5 plates tall to make it a block tall, and for example, the sand will be submerged in the water, and everything else will also just be like a block tall, or you know, just be a cube. But for example, this little sand area, I'm thinking of, for example, making it sandstone slabs, just to give the terrain some more, you know, height and some more variation, which of course in vanilla Minecraft, sandstone slabs don't just, you know, uh, spawn or, you know, appear next to just some water, you can only find it in like desert structures, which of course this is just like a little plain area with some water nearby that has, you know, sugarcane growing on some sand, but I'm just going to go with a story that with Steve, I either made some sandstone slabs or found some and just placed it next to the other pieces of sand. So yeah, now let's start building. Alright, so I got in a little bit carried away and I pretty much fixed the whole build straight away and I think it turned out pretty great. Of course, I haven't fixed everything yet since I still have to fix the mobs, the flower and also the iron ore block, but everything else is fixed. So here's for example the sugar cane, it is really simple and as I had previously mentioned, I'd made sandstone slabs, which look awesome and they're 100% accurate to the proportions of actual Minecraft slabs. And for any of you wondering how I made the slabs, well I used this part 99206. And by using this part you can also make perfect LEGO Minecraft slabs. And of course every single Minecraft block is 5 plates tall except for the slabs. And now it is time to fix all of the other items. So first let's fix the iron ore block which is very simple to fix. So what you do is you grab a LEGO Minecraft ore block of any kind and then you split it down the middle and simply add a 2x2 two two grey plate in the middle. And I was able to easily fix the chicken but unfortunately I don't have a 1x2 pink tile so I can't tile out the pig. And they also made a simple design for the flower and they changed out the creeper. So now it is time to fix the never bastion. Okay, now it is time to fix the Never Bastion, which is a fantastic set. Its retail price was about $35. There are 5 minifigures slash mobs in total, and this actually represents 3 bombs, which is pretty cool. So in this corner you have a warped forest, and in this corner you have a basalt delta, and then over here you have this little section of Soul Sand Valley. And of course the Never Bastion itself, and there is also a TNT block included in the set, so there is a blowing up feature. And over here you have some Never Ward growing, which has a really nice design for the Never Ward by using this eyepiece in red. So moving on to the mobs and mini minifigures, you have this very cool player skin who has a neverite helmet and sword and also a fishing rod with a warped forest mushroom and you also have a piglin which looks fantastic and you also have a brute piglin which is actually exclusive to the set and it looks very good but unfortunately the print for the eye has a mistake so we'll have to write to customer service and then you also get a, a strider which is also exclusive and you can make it sway from side to side and you also get a magma cube which is actually perfect and it also has a function of an actual in-game magma cube. The only way LEGO could make the magma cube even more perfect is if they make a 1x3 
for inverted tile so that, the, so that way you wouldn't see any anti stud showing on the back. And in this set you also get the 6 pronged stem piece in dark red for the first time, a chest with a lot of loot and also a recolor for the Lego Minecraft flame piece. Alright so the first thing that I'm going to fix is the strider, so first of all the strider is too tall which is understandable since of course everything in Lego compared to Minecraft has to be scaled a little bit bigger so that everything will be compatible with Lego Minecraft minifigures. Now a great way to fix that problem is to simply use two 1x1 black plates on either leg instead of a black 1x1 brick. And also at first I was baffled on why LEGO used these two grey headlight bricks instead of red ones. But when I looked in the game, it turns out the striders actually have grey spots on top of the head. So that is what the LEGO designer was trying to represent. And until LEGO makes more sizes for inverted tiles, we will have to see the back of the anti-studs for now. Alright, so now it is time to fix all of the terrain and lava. Okay, so I've been starting to lay down the foundation of a lava and everything, but something that I'm going to need a lot in my build are orange tiles. And where are all of my orange tiles? Well, they are in the fixed colorina mock. So I'll have to borrow all of the or orange tiles from that mock, and I'll also need quite a lot of black bricks. Where are all of my black bricks? In my Lego Hero Brian layer mock which I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already, so pretty much I'm going to have to destroy those mocks for this build. Alright, so a little bit of progress check, I've already made the front of a set which looks awesome, I'm really happy with how it has turned out, so in the middle as you can see I've made all of the lava by using tiles which looks pretty great and at the back I'm going to start using snot technique and build the lava sideways since I'm starting to run out of orange tiles and over here you have a warped forest which contrasts nicely with the lava but unfortunately it didn't quite have enough turquoise tiles so I had to use some different colors of blue tiles since my collection of turquoise is still very limited and then over here I have part of a never basin which looks great and I haven't fixed the never wart yet but I'll most likely, most likely do that at the end so now the last thing is that I have to make is the basalt delta section and also the bigger part of a never basin so let's go Alright, so I've just finished fixing the whole set and it has turned out awesome. It took a very long time to build, especially the base of a build. So over here you have a fixed never wart which looks great and unfortunately for the salt sand I had to use some regular brown plates since my collection of dark brown is very limited. And we also had to use brown tiles for the salt sand valley, but I think it still looks great and you can see the flowing lava also. And in this corner you have a basalt delta which was very simple to build but it still looks awesome. And of course we have a, we have a bigger part of a never basin which looks very simple as it didn't really add any texture to the blocks which is something that I could have done but it was already taking a long time to build but I do like the little splash of color with the hanging TNT block and also the two gold blocks. And I was also thinking of using this design to make accurate Minecraft stairs that go up the Neva Bastion where there's only a single block gap and so there would be gaps going on the side of the stairs if I would have used this design so I just used regular blocks but yeah pretty much this is going to be the end for this video. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, Bricks of them out, goodbye.